Jeffrey Boney, who's a city councilman in Missouri City. Welcome, Jeffrey Boney, for joining in our parade. I love this vehicle. Whoever it is, I love that vehicle. All right. Check out the slingshots here this morning. Strolling through downtown Houston in style. I don't know, Chelsea. I gotta, now I gotta compare between the Corvettes and these slingshots. I, I'm, I'm feeling these slingshots. I think I'm gonna take the slingshot. Oh, You're gonna yeah, have the Corvette. Oh, yeah, these are too good. cool right they're here. They're looking good. Too cool for school, the slingshots. Riding in style here through downtown Houston at the 41st annual MLK Day Parade. Good morning, friends, and thanks for being with us. It is a great morning here in downtown Houston. We have more than 170 participants uh, in this parade this morning. Well, you know, that was our goal, to make this the large parade ever recorded. And again, we're thankful to the city of Houston for partnering along with us to accomplish that goal. Chauncey, I'm just still excited. If I had my choice, I don't know, I think I would be in one of those slingshot vehicles. Yeah, I'll take a slingshot too. Okay. Again, we even have Ebony Davis. She's always supported the Black Heritage Society as well. Thank you, Ebony, for what you do. The Ninja Slingshot. Oh my goodness, Chauncey, look at this white one. Ooh, I think that's, that's gotta be right the best there. one. Oh my goodness. They have a slew of cars just like the Corvette Club. But I have to admit, they are looking awesome. The Slingshots, you're looking good. I mean, each and every one of them are looking good, but I think I'm partial to that white one, but each one of them are looking good. All right, and if you're tuning in to our online coverage here at abc13.com, you're watching, we are streaming live, the 41st annual MLK Day Parade here, strolling through downtown Houston, right here along Smith. We are here at Smith & McKinney. I'm ABC 13's Chauncey Glover here alongside my co-host this morning. Yes, I'm Diana Waters again, and I have to give kudos to my boss, Senator Boris Miles, for all that he does. He works with the Black Heritage Society organization all the time. He donates to them to keep the organization running. And again, we just want to give a shout out to Mr. O.B. Duncan Till in his passing. We know he's looking down upon us right now. And just a brief history while we allow these sling shot right through a brief history about the parade and the organization this was the first mlk day parade in the country and it's been sanctioned by the family of dr martin luther king jr i bet you didn't know that of course we we're talking about back in uh, 1974 mr duncan tell creating and became the founder and executive director here of the black heritage heritage society and on january 21st back in 1978 under the leadership of Mr. Duncan Tell, the Black Heritage Society historically established the first ever MLK Day per birthday parade celebration here in the United States. And of course, the father, you were talking about this earlier, the father of Dr. King, Reverend Martin Luther King, Daddy King, as some people call them, uh, served as the parade's first grand marshal and a special guest. And uh, that was back in 1978. Yes, indeed. They, he, he actually met with Mr. Duncan Tell. Daddy King, as they call him, he met with Mr. Duncan Till and he asked him to plant a tree in honor of his son. And Mr. Duncan Till did that in 1983 over on.